Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be filming my ColourPop lip collection video. I am going to be showing you all the lip products that I own from ColourPop. There are a bunch of categories in ColourPop. We have the Lux lipsticks, the So Juicy glosses, Ultra Matte, Ultra Satins, Ultra Glosses. We have so much to cover in today's video. I'm going to be swatching every single lip product that I own as well and just show you everything and the variety that that ColourPop has. I did upload a general ColourPop collection video, but that included everything. That included eye products, face products, glitters, just the whole shebang. So if you want to check that out, you definitely can. It's a little bit more generalized. I didn't swatch a lot of things. I just kind of showed you how I store everything and what I actually have in my collection. Today's video is going to be a little bit more in detail where we are just focusing on lip products and I'm also going to be swatching everything as well. So I I know it's going to be a long video, so let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so first I just want to show you generally how I store everything. If you did watch my ColourPop collection video, you already know how everything is stored. But for those of you guys that haven't seen that video, I thought I would just quickly show you before I show you all the colors. So right on top of like my makeup storage drawers, I have all of my Luxe lipsticks displayed in these little containers. These are all from Amazon. I will definitely link it down below. The original case that I got, I believe they don't sell it anymore. So this is like a new one that I got and it's a little bit different. It's a bit smaller, but it gives a general vibe. Yeah, I keep all of my Luxe lipsticks here. You can see that I am missing a couple just because these shades are dupes for my spring collection video and I just pulled them out, put them on the side because I got to still film the swatches for that. So there are some missing, but you can kind of get the general gist of how I store it. So I do store them all upside down, which is honestly not the smartest thing to do because these are so soft that when you store them upside down, they are more fragile. And a lot of my Luxe lipsticks, to be honest, a lot of them has snapped because of how I've been storing them. But it's just easy for me to see what colors I have. And you can see the way that I am storing them is that this container here is all of my pinky and and nudes and in this container here are all of my oranges and reds this here is a little bit more mauvey purple and then this container are all of like my colorful shades i do want to buy another makeup drawer container and put it at that end of my room and then display these on that one so it can just look like this you know what i mean not like an extra one here but you know drawers are not cheap and then here are all of my ColourPop lip products so these aren't the lip products just moving along to my like main vanity where I actually like film if we open it up I do have like a little lip drawer in here which contains a variety of brands but there are a bit of ColourPop products in here so these are like my go-to lip products other than Luxe lipsticks Okay, so to get started with the collection, let's start off with the Luxe lipsticks first. These are one of my favorite formulas from ColourPop. I wear them so often. I'm actually wearing one right now. This one is called Spring Roll from the new Spring Collection. It's actually one of my like new favorites. I love this shade so much. I would say the two shades that I wear the most often from the Luxe lipstick family is definitely Layover, which is in the creme finish, and then Hey Mr. DJ, which is is the velvet blur finish. First I have my peachy and pinky nudes. And then I have my oranges and reds. And then I have my purples and mauvies. And then I have my like bright, vibrant colors. 
And that is pretty much my Lux lipstick family. I do believe I have all of the Lux lipsticks. When they first launched, I was very committed to collecting all of them. Now, some of these shades might be discontinued. So if you don't see it on the site, then that is why. But let's talk about the lippy sticks. I actually don't own a lot. A lot of these shades are quite old. It's like from the original like lippy stick launch. So I don't know how many of these will be still on ColourPop's website, but I will just share the names with you guys anyway. So I have Button, Cookie, Faded, Brink, Frida, Cami, Oversize, Razor, and fetch. I remember Razor being like my ultimate favorite back in the day. I used to wear this one so, so much. And also Brink, it's hard for me to pronounce it for some reason. Brink, I remember these two were just like my ultimate favorites. I haven't worn these in so long, but the lippy sticks really do remind me of the Lux lipsticks, but just not as like creamy. These are like my kind of shades. So the bottom one was Razor, which is in collaboration with It's My Ray Ray. So this is definitely not on the site. And then Brink, Brink, Brink. I cannot pronounce a lot of things, but you know, these are like my tones. It looks very similar to like layover. And then I also have some of the mini multi sticks. I think this was like a one time thing or something, but these were with the Sonia Esmond collection. They are like multi sticks where it's like, you can use it on your lips as a blush, as an eye primer or something like that. But the shades were really nice. Like Sonia Esmond's collection with ColourPop was like one of the first collections that I got. And I remember just loving it. I love like the tone she had. I also have the lippy primer which maybe they still have. Again, I don't use this. I just feel like I will just use lip balm for primer. So... And then lastly, we have the blotted lip. I am unsure if this is actually still a category as well. This was in collaboration with Alexis Ren, which, you know, brings back so much memories because this was like the first review video that I did on ColourPop, the Alexis Ren collection. And I saw it did really well. I loved her collection as well. And I was like, okay, let me try more of ColourPop's things. And then I got Karen's collection. I got Sonia Esmond collection. And that's what started my love for ColourPop. And now we have the Ultra Blooded Lips. These are all, I believe, from the initial Ultra Blooded Lip launch. But my favorite from the Ultra Blooded Lip line is definitely Zuma. I do have one from My Life is Eva's collection in my top drawer. The shade that I have is Zuma Slide Out of Beach Double Scoop Ocean Avenue Soda Pop Split and cherry on top. And now for the biggest part of my lip collection other than my Luxe lipsticks are my ultra glossy lips. This is my bigger container. Everything else is in, like, in a single container, which is half of this. But look how many ultra glossy lips I own. So just on top, there are a couple of these So Juicy glosses, which are very, very new. But the three that I have in the drawer, which means these are the three that I don't use often. I have Roundabout, In The Cut, and also chinchilla. So the ultra glossy lips, a lot of them are from collection that might be discontinued. Some of them are the original ultra glossy lip formula. Some of them are like of the new high shine with the brush tip applicator. Like there's just like a lot in here. Now moving on to my ultra matte lips. This is probably one of my smallest categories just because I personally don't really like the ultra matte lips. I mean, some are good. You will see a couple of ultra matte lips in my top drawer. But for the most part, I don't lean towards ultra matte lips. Now we have my ultra satins. Again, a lot of these are from collections. They're not from like the original line. And now I have some lippy sticks that I want to share with you guys. Three of them are from Zoella's collection. Two of them are from Bretman's collection, but I believe these are shades that you can actually just buy, which are called BFF3 and Duke. So I have three from Karen, and then I have one called Fetch. Okay, and now for my last category, that is my own category, which are my favorites. 
other than the other luxe lipsticks from all the collections that I've done and from this whole collection that I have these are the ones that I pull out and I want to put in my top drawer just for easy access because I know I'm going to be wearing them very very frequently and I do this drawer not only contains Colourpop it also contains other brands as well but I am just going to sort through this and just show you what I have in here that is from Colourpop that are my favorites I would say the biggest category I have are could you guess ultra glossy lips because these are literally my favorite the next biggest category are my so juicy glosses i like these because these are just so easy to use and then i have four of the ultra blotter lips like i mentioned you guys zuma was one of my favorites but i just kind of took it out because i really really like a love bite from my life is eva i have three ultra mattes and they are all like my brighter reds so my go-to red is Ariba from Karen, her collab. Ariba is just so beautiful. It's a beautiful true blue red. I have Self Love Club, which is from Zoella's one. This is just more of like a recent one that I put in. It wasn't in my collection for a long time because her collection literally just came out recently. But a lot of you guys complimented me when I wore this. So I was like, okay, I'll put this in my top drawer. And then I have Dolcet from Karen's collection. And then lastly, I have one ultra satin lip, which is Kathleen's one and Dreamy have one from the 2018 holiday collection which is called at twilight which is a lippy stick so that was my entire ColourPop lip collection do i regret filming this video because now i gotta swatch everything if you don't want me to regret making this video please give this video a thumbs up that you appreciate my effort for swatching and for sharing everything but yeah be sure to let me know in the comments down below if there's any lip shades that you think that i should have that i'm missing from my collection not that I need any more but I mean if you want to let me know you can let me know in the comments down below and with that being said that is pretty much it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already I love you guys and I will see you in my next video bye